week. I wasn't editing, I wasn't constructing, customizing, no wigs. Well, no, I plucked this and I was doing something else. But more than stories, I wasn't doing too much. So I took a little break, but I'm back now. I'm about to go out, do my little thing or whatever. So I'm coming back with a nice, simple, cute look. Very, got a little edge with the part, but it's still giving. I just is laid, super laid as always. And if y'all want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. Now, all right, first things first, we still in kind of quarantine, kind of, not really, y'all writing, it's kind of like corona, it just don't matter at this point, whatever, but a lot of this stuff is still not open, like nail salons and stuff. So my nails is broke, so y'all gonna see that throughout the video, don't come for me, ain't nothing I can do about it right now, I'm trying to still live my best life, y'all know I take my nails very serious, but it is what it is, so, whatever. Anyways, now let's get into the video, because I know y'all gonna try to cry. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, the lace is very, very dark, okay? Usually when I work on my mannequin head, it kind of blends in with the mannequin head a little bit, being that my mannequin head is like a neutral tone, so it's like more to, like more, it's closer to the transparent color than the medium brown color, so it's like a big difference. So, um, I literally, as I'm going to mention at the end of the video, I literally hate working with medium brown lace like I just feel like it's hit and miss sometimes I could fix it and make it work which I wind up making it work but sometimes it just looks so bad and clockable like you don't even have to be close to me to see that this lace is just not melted so I was so mad about that and I'm also I apologize if like I'm all in front of the camera and stuff like that because I had to get the right angle to do it the proper way but um, other than that, most of y'all who are probably like returning subscribers or supporters or whatever, so y'all know what I'm doing. I always got to prep my wigs before I put them onto my head for the most flawless install. I'm telling y'all, this is literally the key. Oh my God, I stress this so much. Like, it's not even funny. You have to prep your wig before you put it on your head. Sometimes people could just throw it on their head and make it work and then customize it while it's on their head and all that. But I just feel like once the baby hairs or the hair, like the flyaways and stuff start to get in the glue, it just start looking messy. Now you just, ugh, it's just so, uh, I just love a clean install. I worry about everything else after. So, yes. <music> major things that I like to do now is I like to actually put some concealer on top of my lace actually on the hair to make it give it like a little blur effect a little bit I definitely notice a difference but if you don't really notice a difference you don't have to do it this is optional but this is just something that I like to do I don't take any extra product I literally use whatever was left on a bunch from my last install to do this part now for this part this is what really counts this is what matters if you have a dark lace and you're of a I guess lighter complexion and it's too dark for you use concealer and conceal the f out of it okay you gotta go mad hard and put a lot of concealer don't put so much that is caked up but that's what's that's like the what's the word i'm looking for that's the good part i guess about using cream concealer because it's not too messy but it gives you just enough coverage that you may need if y'all understand what i'm saying and what also makes this easier is the fact that when i bleach the knots and tone it once i tone it and leave it in the toner for a while it actually turns like a grayish white color so it actually makes the lace lighter if that makes any sense i don't know but yeah also, what I like to do is cut my lace before I put it on my head. This is a nice trick that I learned a few months ago, and I've been loving it ever since. I feel like it gives a nice, natural hairline look instead of cutting it straight on my head. When I used to do that, it used to give like a straight across cut kind of look, if that makes sense. But now it looks more like a realistic hairline. I'm not going to front this install. I messed up a little bit. One side was more hairline looking, and the other side was kind of like straight down. I believe it was this side. Was it this side? Yeah. 
it was this side that looked more straight and then the other side was more hey like you see that so but it came out good so whatever anyways also what's also gonna help is baby hairs i don't like going too dumb on baby hairs notice when i do my baby hairs i don't i try to leave some space where you can see the lace actually melted and not make it look like i'm trying to hide the lace you know how some girls do baby hairs and they literally do it from ear to ear just full of baby hairs you could just tell like girl that's probably not melted the way it should be so you gotta learn when like what's too much baby hairs and what's just enough i mean i, I guess it depends on preference too but how i prefer is to make it look like nice baby hairs you could see them it's given nice baby hair setup look whatever but it's not she's trying to hide the lace baby hairs if that makes sense I'm, how many times i'm gonna say if that makes sense i don't know y'all see me trying to explain it to y'all okay
All right, y'all, so it's about that time in the video. I'm about to take my scarf off my head. I gotta just keep my beauty blender on hand because every time I do my baby hairs with a lot of mousse, it start acting funny. So, just gotta have that on hand. So, let's see what's going on. I already know it's gonna come out with that fire. I just know I'm gonna have to touch up my makeup OD. Like, hmm. I actually don't gotta touch up my makeup OD. This is cute. I actually was more interested. Is this even? I gotta put this down a little bit. I was more interested in. Woo, um, I was more interested in um, probably doing like two buns with this, but for some reason, oof, this, oh, this comb ain't no joke. Damn, this shit is hot. Ooh, give me chills. Yeah, but I was gonna do like two buns or something. But I'm like, um, when my friends called me and told me what the occasion was, I'm just like, two buns is kind of like not giving the vibe. I'm not trying to be at a super grown event with two buns, if that makes sense. Like two buns, half up, half down style. Not like, not like a cute two buns, but like a half up, half down style. Like that. I just wasn't feeling that, so. I just have to fix it up. I'm trying to make sure this looks cute too. I think the part is like not directly in the middle. Like, I don't know, but it's exact. So I don't think people peeping. Like, I don't think people looking at her. But it's cute. It's definitely a vibe and it's definitely cute. So I'm going to just keep this how it is. It's only um, 24 inches. I wish it was like 26 or 28. That would have been like a super vibe. But this will do too, I guess. I need this to like stay down. Yeah, but this is like a cute little, you know, cute little number. Baby hair. Okay, this one is acting up. Do I fix this? Uh, yeah, I do fix it. Just a little bit though, because I really don't want to like tamper with it too much. Yeah, like that's enough. I ain't even really put anything, but. Yeah. And then the baby is on this side. Super bomb. It looks really good. I know y'all gonna want to see the outfit, so let me just show y'all real quick. Y'all feeling like. All right, let me show y'all. Hopefully, like, YouTube don't flag me or whatever, but... So, this is the top. Y'all know I'm busty. Everybody know, all right, whatever. You can see the rolls, but the outfit is still cute. Can you see? I got a, like, tippy toe. And this is... Let me zoom out. All right, so... This is the shorts. This is the top. It's not showing how sparkly it really is on camera, but if I take a picture or a video, I'm going to let y'all... I'm gonna enter it in the video so y'all can see it. But other than that, I am about to go to a yacht party with my friends. So y'all know the vibes are super giving. Um, we about to be lit and my bitch is about to leave. So y'all know we gotta turn up super extra. I really hope this part don't look dumb on camera. Like this is what the part look like. Hopefully it don't look stupid. I will be pissed. But it is what it is. Mad makeup in my hair. I don't even care at this point. Anyways, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was probably mad long. Hopefully it wasn't too long. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will definitely see y'all in my next video. Bye, loves. I didn't write blade on